it's what we call a quick pick segment. We're just going to run down the uh, schedule. We're just going to say who picks who to win each game. And then after that, we'll actually run down a few games from the schedule that we think are relevant and uh, actually worth talking about at length. So with that being said, we will do our best not to get caught up and just run down the schedule starting Thursday, September 10th, the Suspension Bowl, Pittsburgh at New England. What do you got, Shooter? I'm going to take the Steelers in this game. I don't think Tom Brady's going to win. Or, I don't think Tom Brady's going to play right. in this game, so it's going to win. So uh, I'm also picking Pittsburgh here. Uh, okay. So we move on to the 1 o'clock games, uh, Sunday, September 13th, the true opening day of the season, uh, a big NFC North matchup right on the gates, Green Bay at Chicago. I'm going to go with the Packers in this game. I just think they're much better than the Jets this year. I also picked the Packers in this matchup. All right, so he got in the Chiefs at the Titans. Or, I'm sorry, the Chiefs at the Texans. Well, remember the Titans are not playing in this game. This is the Texans. And uh, I know that I think Kansas City is going to be a good, game, a good team this year, but no, week one at Houston, I pick Houston with that defense. I'm going to go with the Chiefs in this game on the road. On the road. All right. So uh, following that, we have Cleveland Browns at New York Jets. Does anybody care? Let's move on. <laughs> the next game is Indianapolis Colts at Buffalo Bills. Uh, this is actually a really good game, and I see perhaps having uh, postseason uh, implications. Personally, I think at home with that defense, I'm taking Buffalo. I'm going to go with the Bills as well, which is probably an upset. Uh, at home. Yeah, I would probably say the Osmakers would call that an upset. As a fan, I would not. Um, uh, coming up next, we have Miami at Washington. Uh, I think we both pick Miami. There's no real reason to talk about that game. Yeah, Dolphins. Coming up next, we have Carolina at Jacksonville. Uh, this down south kitty cats. Uh, I'm going with the sleeper pick. Jacksonville? I'm going with Jacksonville. Uh, I'm agreeing with you because I believe in Blake Bortles, and I believe that this is the year that that offense really takes off. Uh, next, we have probably the premier matchup at 1 o'clock, I would say, which is Seattle at St. Louis. Uh, a game we'll talk about later, but right now, uh, I'm going to pick St. Louis at home opening the season. I'll take the Seahawks. All right. Uh, now, going into the 4 o'clock games, we're looking at a matchup that Rob's very interested in. We'll talk about that at some point in the season. Uh, and that is uh, New Orleans at Arizona. Uh, on the road, I don't think has what it takes coming out of the gate, so I'm definitely picking Arizona in this matchup. I'm going Arizona as well. All right, that's nice and easy. Coming up next, we have Detroit at San Diego, traveling all the way out to the south, uh, the uh, southern coast of California. We have Detroit. Uh, I think they're taking a huge step back this season. Uh, I think Megatron is uh, starting to lose some steps, and I don't know that Stafford has what it takes. So I like this offense in San Diego to go along with the season and to win this opening game. I'm going to take the Lions. Their offense is just going to overpower the Chargers. Mm, that's interesting. Uh, coming up next, we have one of the, the coolest matchups in a long time in the NFL, I believe, and that is the number one pick versus the number two overall pick, Tennessee at Tampa Bay. Good scheduling NFL. Well, yeah, we don't say that very often, do we? <laughs> number one versus number two in the draft. I'm going to have to go with the Bucks, basically just because they're at home. Yeah. yeah. With the Bucks as well? Yeah, I have to agree with you. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a pretty game. I think it's going to be a fun game oh, to watch. Exactly. But uh, I definitely think that Tampa wins. And I think they're going to lose a few games you know, after this game. But they win that first game at home against Tennessee. Uh, next, we have Cincinnati going probably, I think, on the longest trip of the first week. And that is Cincinnati all the way out in Oakland. Um, personally, I think that Cincinnati's going to overcome the long trip. Oakland's still looking for identity. And Andy Dalton and that offense have a lot to prove. They're coming out the gate swinging. I got Cincinnati in this first game. I like the Raiders starting off 1-0 at home. I think mm-hmm. their defense is going to be much better this season. I like it. Uh, <laughs> coming up next, we got Rob's favorite game of the week, and that is uh, his hometown Baltimore Ravens at the uh, Denver Broncos, which is a rematch of the AFC Championship three years ago. Yeah, and I'm going to go with the Mile High Miracle Part 2 and go with the Ravens. I don't know if it'll be a miracle at this point in the season, but I definitely disagree, and I think that uh, Peyton Manning and that offense, the old gunslinger, as a certain person likes to call him, comes out and uh, does what he does, and he wins week one at Mile High like the Broncos do. And uh, after that, we got my game of the week, which uh, is the uh, New, New York Giants. It's a Sunday night game, the 8 o'clock game at good old AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. New York Giants at the Dallas Cowboys. I think it's going to be closer than you think it's going to be, but I'll take the Cowboys. Yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's necessarily going to be a blowout. I think that Cowboys secondary is going to take a few weeks to really gel, but uh, I definitely think, I do think the Cowboys win by at least 10 points here, but that's a different discussion for a different day. Um, so, uh, yeah, we both have the Cowboys there, and we'll move right on to the doubleheader on Monday, which, of course, we both love the fact that Monday Night Football is a doubleheader. I love the opening weekend Monday Night Football. This is the best part of the week. I hate both of these both games <laughs> are not great. I will say both of these matchups are not great. And speaking of these matchups, the very first matchup at 710 Eastern is uh, the Philadelphia Eagles at the Atlanta Falcons. Battle of the Birds. Battle of the this Birds. This is why you can't go with my picks. Because sometimes I'll just go with the team the team. Name. The, the Who will win the an actual fight? Right. So an Eagle and a Falcon, I gotta go with an Eagle. And Chip Kelly's coaching them pretty quick offense. I'll take the Eagles. Uh, I, I think that this is almost a coin flip matchup right here. I think that both teams have a lot of questions. Uh, and with that being said, I think Atlanta has just enough to edge this out as a home victory in week one. And uh, with that, we come to our last matchup of the week, which is uh, one of the teams that I'm very high on, the Minnesota Vikings at the San Francisco 49ers, a team that um, I believe most people agree is uh, maybe a strong one, but in shambles right now. <laughs> uh, they seem like they're in trouble. They're definitely in a bit of a free fall, if you will. So uh, I'm clearly picking Minnesota and Teddy Bridgewater, who I believe is my overall breakout player of the season, to, uh, to win game one at San Francisco en route to a playoff appearance this year. Yeah, I'll take the Vikings in that game as well. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. That's our quick picks for a shooter in the stash. Uh, something you learn from us every week. A quick rundown of the winners and losers of every game that the NFL has to offer on a weekly basis. Um, coming off of that, what do we have next, shooter? Um, do you want to break down some of these games? Oh, yeah, I think that's fair. I, I th-